Dad's night, Dad's night to cook. It is Dad's night, Dad's night to cook. From the pantry he'll take a Loma book to see what we'll dine on tonight. What you gonna cook, Dad? What we gonna eat? His recipe's great, A it plus. is a must. When he cooks, he makes Both believe us. and trust. And a wonderful meal on the table. Yummy for a tummy. It is Dad's night to cook. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel, um, Dad's Night to Cook. However, we have this in-between segments that we call Kicking It, where I just do little quick segments. What I did was I had some leftovers from some previous um, Dad's Night to Cook. So I had some leftover meatloaf. I had some leftover shrimp from when we made the shrimp in Alfredo. Um, some leftover tomatoes and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you real quick what I'm going to do is a quick lunch so, so in this pan we have the leftover meatloaf i had one piece of meatloaf that i chopped up and i had some of those diced tomatoes left over i added this, some tomatoes i added some garlic i added some butter and over here i had some leftover shrimp that we made with the alfredo and we're going to add that last minute now what i did was i put a little bit of salt just about mm, a quarter teaspoon of salt because everything was cooked and well seasoned so we won't need a whole lot to go into that and um, next we're just going to add a little bit of um, chicken stock to uh, give it a little bit of gravy and yeah, by salt. the way this meal I've called leftover rache rache pretty means just pretty much means to pull apart so what we did was we got a piece of meatloaf and the shrimp and um, the leftover and what we did is we pulled it all apart and put it back together in a leftover lunch that we call leftover rush. A little bit of that chicken stock that we opened up. And just gonna pour a little bit of chicken stock in there and let that simmer on a lower heat. And when that's done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one of those habanero pickled peppers that I showed you in um, segments an episode before. And we're gonna put that in there and let that saute for a little bit. And in this pot, we have some hot water going on. And what I'm gonna do is I put, you know, I put all my seasoning together. So I have my salt, pepper, paprika, and I'm gonna add it to this water. And we're gonna have ourselves some instant grits. So I'm gonna add a half cup of instant grits. And we'll keep an eye on that and keep that stirring. So we'll get ourselves our wooden spoon and we're gonna stir that up. And as you can see, it's gonna need a little bit more liquid. So I'm gonna add some more of that chicken stock to it. And then when we get back, we're gonna add all of our cream, our milk, our butter, our cheese, because it's gonna be a cheesy grits to go on the bottom of our leftover rash. All I added was a half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, half teaspoon of paprika. I know that sounds like a lot of salt, but this is your only chance to season your grits. And what we're gonna do in just a second, we're gonna add a, some pat of, uh, two pats of butter, Let's continue to stir it clockwise, counterclockwise, figure eights, and we're gonna plate this mother up and enjoy lunch. Milk. Now you can add more, like I said, we're gonna eyeball it, and but we want kind of like a half a cup of milk, and we're gonna continuously stir this, doing clockwise, counterclockwise, figure eights, clockwise. We're gonna go clockwise, counterclockwise, figure eights. Cause what we want to do is we want to keep the grits from sticking to the bottom. What we've done with our leftover rache stew is we've added that habanero pepper in there, as you can see, and we continue to saute that. It's just going, the, the habanero pepper is just going to give it that little kick that it needs. And when we get back, we'll just add the shrimp, cover that up and wait for our grits to be done. All right. So while you were gone, what I did was I added a cup of grated um, sh or shredded, if you buy already sh um, shredded, um, sharp cheddar cheese or cheddar cheese, whatever brand you have in your refrigerator. Remember, we're just pulling this stuff out of the refrigerator. And I added that to our grits. And I'm going to add the shrimp and show you how to do it. But let's take a look at our grits. So as you can see, I added the cheese, the cheddar cheese to our grits. I'm continuing to do my clockwise, counterclockwise figure eights, just so that the grits does not stick 
to the pan. And we're gonna let that simmer for a little bit. Gonna turn down the heat so it can just simmer. And our leftover rache is doing well. Remember we added our habanero pepper. Now we're just gonna add our shrimp. This doesn't need a lot of seasoning because the stuff was already pre-cooked. Remember we made meals before. And we just added our jumbo shrimp from when we made our alfredo with shrimp. And give that a little toss in there. Leave the habanero pepper. And this is not gonna be long to cook because everything's already pre-cooked. It just needs to simmer up in there. Now I want you dads to know that it's not scary to cook grits. I know a lot of people have problems. They hear polenta and stuff like that and thinking, what polenta, y'all, polenta is just grits. A yellow or white grits, okay? That's what we're cooking, okay? We're not doing polenta. Don't be scared. Grits sound a little less scary, right? Grits, we're gonna cook grits. Sound a little scary, so that's what we're cooking. So don't be afraid to take on grits. It's an acquired taste. You know, some kids like it, some don't. But this kicking segment, we're not cooking for kids, we're cooking for adults. Sorry, my <laughs> angles are so wonky today, my filming's wonky because again, I'm filming for myself. So you have to continue to figure eights because the cheese could get stuck to the bottom of the pot. So we wanna continue our figure eight movement. But this is our cheesy grits, it's almost ready. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let it sit and it's gonna just thicken on its own. But before that, we're gonna add about two pats so we're gonna add two pats of butter to our grits and continue to do that clockwise motion, that figure eight motion, figure eight, figure eights. We don't want our grits to stick. So when we get back, we're gonna turn that heat down. Actually, we're gonna just turn it off, but we're gonna plate our food and then we're going to have a wonderful leftover rache over some grits. All right, see y'all. So what we're gonna do now is um, we've, I've got my grits to the consistency I like. I like it a little bit more creamier, a little more runnier. Some people like it a little thicker. So if you like it a little thicker, just let it sit a little bit longer so it can ferment until the consistency that you like of your grits. But I like mine a little bit more, um, gooey and, and, and delectable this, okay? So we've plated our uh, leftover rache over our bed of grits, polenta, grits. And uh, we're about to, I usually use a spoon with this because I like to scoop out everything and enjoy it. But here's the finished product. Enjoy, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe and ring that bell so you know when new segments are, are um, being posted. All righty, enjoy. Dad's night, dad's night to cook. It is dad's night, dad's night to cook. From the pantry he'll take a little book to see what we'll dine on tonight. What you gonna cook, dad? What we gonna eat? His recipe's great, A it plus. is a must. When he cooks, he makes believe and trust. And a wonderful meal on the table. Yummy for a tummy. It is dad's night to cook. <laughs>